Hey, what's up everybody? Ramey here and today what we're talking about is doing a belt squat with a landmine. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it first of all and then I'm going to show you my setup um, and talk a little bit about what I like and dislike about doing this. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and demonstrate me doing the belt squat. Alright, so now that you've seen me do it, let me talk a little bit about it. So the first thing I want to tell you is I did have a full-size bumper on there to show you that you can go down all the way with a full-size bumper. If for some reason you couldn't go down all the way with a full-size bumper, um, you can use smaller plates like 25s or you can simply just stand on a board. Um, it's going to fit your foot, you know, um, to give you like two inches of height, like a, you know, two by eight or something like that. Stand on it and you'd be good to go. Um, but you would need to stand on something that raise yourself a little bit um, if for some reason you weren't able to go all the way down. So let me talk about my setup. So the first thing is that I have a belt. This is a D Moose generic belt I pretty much got off Amazon. Um, very inexpensive belt, came with a chain and everything that you see here. Um, great, works well, no issues with it, um, but there are a bunch of different companies that sell different kinds of belts that you can buy. You can look at my setup here. In the back, what I have is I have, so first of all, I'm using an axle bar. I use an axle bar so that I don't destroy my good barbell, which is actually sitting on the floor right behind me right now. Um, and then what I do is I put my barbell into one of the pin and pipe connectors. Um, you can buy these from Titan Fitness and a few other companies. They're like $20. And then I actually strap the barbell in um, with, a, with a clamp so that it can't be pulled out while I'm doing the belt squat. And then as I go up the bar, you can see I've got my plate on. And then I, have, I just have a 10-pound on um, just so you can see from the example. And then I have that clamped. And then I have one of like the silver metal clamps that I use to kind of hold my chain so it doesn't slide around. And that's it, I've got it up on a J-cup, um, and that allows me to start standing so that it's really easy to start and then actually go down. And I simply just kind of like pick it up and walk like one inch to the left um, so that my J-cup's no longer there, and I do my belt squat. It's pretty easy to do, great effective exercise, something I love doing after squats sometimes, or sometimes I'll do it during like a deload week instead of squats, or if I'm just varying things up, or I do have some pain in my lower back sometimes, which is one of the reasons why I do the belt squat to begin with um, from time to time. Um, but I will say this is a good optional setup. There are tons of different options for belt squat. This is one of the ways using a landmine to do a belt squat. I think it's a great way. I think it's really cost effective. I already had the belt. I already had an axle bar. I already had all the different clamps I needed. And I already had the pin and pipes thing um, because I use that for Viking press. So I had everything to do a belt squat. And this is a, one of my favorite ways to do it. I've done it using lever arms. Um, I've tried doing it, doing the, the pin, where you stand above the pin. This is the way that I like the best. So this is the way that I have preferred to do the belt squat because I'm starting standing. It's really easy to do. I can load it with weight and I haven't had any issues. So I would encourage you to give it a shot. Let me know what you think about it later on. 